Hey everyone, and welcome back to another review. Today I have a really nice German Dragon figure to show you. This is Anton Wessel. He was released in 2007, and uh, I'd previously never seen this figure before. I kind of just randomly stumbled upon him on eBay, um, but I decided to pick him up. I got him for like $60, which is a really good price, I think, considering the rarity of this figure. Um, you know, there were so many Dragon models made that I feel like some of them were definitely more well-known than others. I feel like this one might have gone under the radar, because I've never seen this one before. Uh, so really happy I picked him up. He's really nice. The detail is great on this one. Let's go ahead and show you the box. It's World War II, Battle for Berlin, 1945. So right at the end of the war there. Uh, Volks, Grenadier. There's a really nice picture of the figure. And then we got another cool picture here on the side. And then the back of the box with his equipment. All right, let's go ahead and show you the figure. Uh, this guy is really nice. He comes with some very unique equipment. And uh, yeah, I really like him. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at his weapon here, which is an MP44, and it says with Vampire Night Vision Sight, which you can see up top there. I think that's really cool. I've never seen anything like that, actually. Very nice. And he holds that really well in his hands. Okay, let's get a better look at this yeah I absolutely love the way this looks I think that looks awesome with the uh, night vision sight up there very very nice okay we got a pretty nice strap on there and of course the clip can come out and also another sight which you can pull up so very nicely detailed and then you can also pull this back if you want All right, and that little piece uh, comes up as well. So the uh, the weapon here is very nicely detailed. Once again, I love the night vision scope. It looks great. All right, here is his head sculpt with his cap on. Looks great. And there that is up close. And then I love the head sculpt on this figure. I think they did a good job with this one. It looks very realistic. All right, so the figure comes with a lot of really unique equipment. Um, in the front, you can see he's got three pouches here with extra clips for his mp44 and i do have the clips inside of there so that looks nice okay we got his belt and then the harness and then on the back here we got his knife his uh, mesh tin bread basket and his canteen and then we got this really unique piece of equipment here um you know to be honest i'm not entirely sure what all this is or what the name of this is. I'm assuming this uh, has something to do with uh, maybe powering up his uh, night vision scope. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a lot of wires coming out of here. So that's my guess. Uh, please let me know, guys, if you know exactly what this piece of equipment is here. But it's uh, I got it all uh, attached here onto another piece of equipment, which uh, it's on the back of the box it's called a Tragstel 39. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, but this looks really good. Once you get this all geared up, I think I got it on there pretty well. Um, but this looks really cool, I think. Definitely makes the figure stand out. Make him look unique. Alright, 
Um, as for his uniform, we got some shoulder pads there you have to put on manually. Here are some uh, stickers, which they already put on for you. And then we got his, this is called a MP, uh, M44 field blouse that he's wearing. And this looks really nice. And underneath of that, he does have a, a turtleneck kind of sweater there. You can see that looks nice. All right, and his pants are really cool. Very nice camo design. And you do have to put those on yourself underneath of all this. He does have um, another pair of pants. You can kind of see them there. All right, and as for his boots, here they are. Look very nice. You can see he does have some uh, plastic leggings there that they've already uh, attached onto the boots. All right, so I think that's everything to show for Anton Wessel. Um, this is really an awesome figure. Like I said, he's very unique and extremely rare. Um, I think he went under the radar possibly because I've never seen this guy before, so I'm really happy that I picked him up. Um, I really recommend picking this figure up if you can find him. Um, yeah, I think I just think this is a great figure. So thanks for watching the review, guys. I have a ton of new Dragon figures that I need to review, so I'm a little behind on my reviews. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to be starting up some Zebos reviews. So um, And then also, of course, I'll try to pick up some more G.I. Joes to start reviewing as well. So... Definitely a lot on the schedule here. Uh, stay tuned for more review, guys. Thanks for your support, and I will see you next time.